fat only makes you fat when paired with carbohydrates. Chances are you have been wrong about fat your entire life. In today's video, we want to explain the reason why is that? And what can you do about it? Here are some of our points. 1. Insulin calls the shirts behind the scenes. When we ingest foods, be it fats, carbs or proteins, the molecules contained in them do not magically turn into fat, or new cells or whatever. They must be shuttled to their final destination by something. This conductor is insulin. Under normal circumstances, by normal, we mean occasional stimulation, insulin is the prodigal hormone. It is important for ensuring nutrients get where it has to go, so that cells and subsequent organs function, as they should. However, following the introduction, and subsequent frequent consumption of carb-heavy foods, insulin started working overtime, hoarding nutrients into cells, more particularly, fat cells. As these fat cells grew, and insulin lost sensitivity, a dangerous cocktail of elevated blood sugar and fat levels resulted, setting the stage for diabetes and high cholesterol. 2. Fat does not like to be stored. You may or may not know insulin by its name the storage hormone, as its primary role is that defined. However, fat had different things in mind. Research has shown that our ancestors were very lean and healthy, all thanks to a primary fat metabolism. Their diets consisted mainly of wild animals, with the occasional forage consumed too, such as berries. The result was a metabolism that used fats for fuel, the way we were meant to function but altered via means of mass-produced cheap carbohydrate foods. Under the influence of insulin, however, fats are powerless to be burned directly as fuel, and will only be called upon in cases when sugars are low. It is then, or when following a ketogenic diet, low-carb eating that results in ketosis where the body uses fat for energy instead of dietary carbs, that the true beauty of using fat as a primary fuel source is revealed. 3. Fats do not stimulate insulin release. Fact is that you can literally eat a whole cow and not experience a surge of insulin, causing your body to begin oxidizing the fat directly for fuel. However, the typical idea of a meal includes both carbohydrate and fat, resulting in storage of both in cells until needed. Without the influence of carbs, and associated insulin spikes, fats are easily burned off and not stored in fat cells. The truth is that fat is not bad for you by itself, rather only when under insulin's grasp. What's even more revealing is the fact that the ketogenic diet, one high in protein and fats, but extremely low in carbs, promotes weight loss and leads to improved health, far over the approved diets of the world's governments. And I guess, at this point, you know why. The many studies that have shown low-carb diets to be more effective in actual pounds lost and reducing cholesterol levels than low-fat diets support the theory that low-carb is more effective for weight loss and burning body fat. We have free keto diet cookbook available in the description, feel free to check it out. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and comment if you find it useful.